What up, YouTube? This is the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel where I plan on showing you how to build a 1984 Chevy C10 truck that just burns rubber, ain't meant to be fast, and only meant to be fun for. What, Dad? For you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, today we're gonna make our first attempt at pulling the motor. I've never pulled a motor before, so that's why I call it an attempt. So I don't think it'll be that difficult, though, at all. We got pretty much all the right tools for the job. I need to, uh, I didn't think about it, but I actually threw out the old bolts that used to be in the motor. So I need to get some head bolts, but I have some upstairs actually. You know what? Let me show them to you right now while I'm thinking about it. All right, you guys are probably gonna say, Stone, why did you go El Cheapo and get Felpro bolts? It's because, well, I'm a, I was trying to be cheap at the time. And I, uh, I got them because I didn't want to spend $100 on ARP bolts, but I uh, I bought these and I opened them up and then I looked at them and then had second thoughts so I started reading on forums about you know the Felpro bolts and they said that some people were torquing them to 70 foot pounds and they'll actually snap like the head will actually snap clean smooth off of the uh, of the thread so that's no good so that's why I decided not to use them but now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use them to lift the old motor out so I'm just gonna have to put a couple of these into the uh, the deck surface poles situation, you know what I'm saying, and put a chain in them, and hopefully they'll lift right out just fine, and they won't snap because they are the cheaper ones. But I mean, people use all sorts of types of bolts, so these have to be fine. They're head bolts, so they have to be strong to a certain degree, a certain degree to the point where it's safe to use for this kind of situation. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be using for the uh for lifting it out so uh i'm actually kind of sick today guys but i mean the show must go on i can't just sit here and not do anything for the for the channel because you know of course i'm going back to school next week so and also guys would you like to see a vlog tomorrow because I, if we pull this motor today and if we get it out successfully today then i probably won't really have much to do later this week other than maybe put little things on the motor i mean i can't really afford to get anything right now but that will probably be the only content i have for you and uh also you know we're gonna have a busy week so i'm, I'm going back to school next week so i gotta prepare for that also just a little bit so would you guys want to see like a vlog where it's not you know truck related because other than that we might not have any more uploads to really give you guys i haven't thought about this yet but we might not have a lot of uploads to give to you for the rest of the week and I want to make sure that I get four uploads out this week for sure. Ooh. You know, I didn't think about it but the the car meet was canceled last week so maybe it's not canceled this week and maybe we can go for that. Well if that takes care of Thursday then would you guys be cool with seeing a vlog of tomorrow of me and Kevin Dean just running errands around town getting ready for uh, for me going back to school or something like that. Something along those lines. I don't know if we're going to actually do any work tomorrow because, of course, I want to get a haircut. I want to get a little clean and want to get some clothes. So that's why I'm saying I'm probably not going to be able to afford putting, like, a new water pump on the motor and and stuff like that because I got, you know, school stuff to pay for. So y'all will probably have to see vlogs. Are y'all cool with vlogs? I know, like, you know, they're not, like, super truck-related action-packed. But, I mean, they're usually pretty fun because, you know... Me and Kevin Dean can go back and forth about pretty much anything that we see out in the world. And it usually is, you know, somewhat entertaining. So, you guys say. So, I mean, let me know. Would you guys want to see a vlog? Comment below. But today, we are just going to be making an attempt at actually getting that motor out. So, that's going to consist of making sure the transmission is supported safely. Making sure that um, the torque converter bolts are disconnected. Making sure the transmission bolts are disconnected. And the motor mounts... Move some wiring out the way. Should be good to go after that. There's no headers to remove or anything like that. Fun fact, we, I put headers on, I took headers on and off of that truck a million times with the truck, you know, at level. Like I didn't jack it up or anything. So that's one thing I really love about the C10 is that I can do stuff to it without jacking it up. I rebuilt the top end of the motor without jacking it up. I did all that stuff without jacking it up. It was sitting right there out in the driveway where it used to sit when I rebuilt the motor the first time. So. So, basically, I think we're pretty good in terms of where it's sitting right now. I don't think we have to move it further in or further out. I think we'll be fine where it sits. We don't have to jack it up or anything. 
Just need to get that motor out of there. And we should be good to go. I'm really excited. Uh, you know, we got the hood off, as you saw in the last video. Got the hood off, so it's pretty much ready to go. We got the hoist working, too, yesterday. So we've been getting a lot done. I, uh, last week was kind of a, a flop because the hoist kind of took more time than I thought, but it's all good, though. All in good fun. So I think I've covered everything. Yeah, I guess it's time to get to it. I'm going to go collect the Kevin Dean, and then we are going to see what we can do today. I'm trying not to have a long vlog today. I'm trying to have like a 20 minute vlog. This clip is already six minutes long. So this video might consist more of like an update of now we're doing this, now we're doing that, and now we're doing that. And now we're pulling the motor because I really don't want to have to edit like a 30 minute video like I had to do last night because I was just treacherous. So that's all I got for y'all. I won't talk to you off anymore. Let's go ahead and get to pulling that motor. All right, first things first, we got to clean up this area, and then I'll get back to you guys right after that, after we have this area clear enough to where we can start lining the hoist up for its final pull. Actually, guys, I do have ARP head bolts left over, so this is what we're going to use to put into the bottom end. All right, guys, so I debugged the underneath of it because, of course, you already know the spider is out the wazoo sitting underneath it. So... Now we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for this wheel that doesn't want to act right. I got to hammer this thing back through it just so that we can put a nut on there so that the wheel will actually stay on there for when we, you know, have weight on this thing. So that's what I'm about to get to. And I got Kevin Dean working on. Some of everything. Yeah, some of everything. How we're going to, we have to jack it up to get this wheel off so that we can get the hoist underneath. And also, we need to support the transmission so that's what we're working on right now and i'll show you the end result of that in a second already running all right and today is daily finagle because you know there's always one tyler your hoist it's uh... a <laughs> <laughs> uh... this thing for some reason this thing right here wasn't close together it it somehow spaced itself apart so the wheel was just kind of going like like that you know <laughs> so it's going like what <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> and this thing didn't even have a nut on the other side of it so it was just sitting in there just kind of you know cockeyed like that and god forbid we to put the weight of the engine on that thing and made the discovery yeah that we can't roll it around or worse still we got a flat tire it would have been a hurting thing, so. But luckily, Kevin Dean dug out some, some stuff, and we found one that's, that's me. This happens to be the right exact size to go right through here. And I think this is when we were trying to, we were trying to move brake line or fuel line out of the way of the header. And so we drilled a hole with one of these little, you know, stick thread things and, and, and held the, uh, we, you know, we might as well show them. Well, I think. Let's show the folks at home exactly yeah. what we're talking about here. See where the heat wrap is, y'all? And right where that little threaded thing is coming through, that's where we're holding the the line out of the way of the header. So, so yeah, that's why we're not swapping headers, because if we swap headers, we might have to change that. So, that's why. It's called so, Dean Ingenuity. Uh -huh. Two daily finagles. And one Two daily finagles. Uh -huh. As always, don't yep. try this at home. So let's see, let's set this up permanently. I'm gonna take this off when I give the hoist back too. What <laughs> <laughs> y'all think about that? I think that looks mm -hmm. good. It'll hold the weight, that's for sure. Yeah. That's what we need because that wheel was all over the place a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's the end of the daily finagle. Now back to work. We'll get back to y'all in a couple minutes. All right, guys, so now we got the wheel off and we got the hoist working like we needed to. The wheel is working just fine. And uh, of course the hoist, uh, the piston situation that I bought yesterday is working fine too. So we're ready to go in terms of the hoist. Now we're just trying to get something that'll support the transmission front, the front end of the transmission, so that when we take the engine off, it doesn't, you know, sag or anything. I hear the transmission cross member will hold it, it looks but, like it would, but there's still one more anyway. Yeah. Because I see a, a great place to put a stand. Uh huh. But our complication is our stand has lost its. Thing. Get creative, go back into that bag of fasteners yeah. and uh, find something to keep the stand where we put it. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if he's gonna gun it when he goes down the street. Nah. Any other day he would. He's not committed. Yeah, he's not committed. Gotta find something to do on here, Stone. I can do that. Okay. Give me a second. All right, now Kevin Dean is making the two by four that's actually gonna support the transmission because the jack stand by itself won't do it. So we're just gonna put a jack stand and that block of wood right underneath the front of it where the jack stand is sitting now because the jack stand by itself, I don't trust it, but I feel like a block of wood would help. So that's what we're using. Cool, that should be perfect. Let's go ahead and see how it fits. All right guys, the block of wood was successful. Now we have the transmission supported as well as the front of the truck supported right under the, uh, the skid plate. So now we're gonna go ahead and start unbolting the torque converter bolts. And one thing I didn't think about is how we're gonna turn this motor, but we'll figure it out. To get all the torque converter bolts out. You can't get them all at once. Oh, you can't necessarily reach them where they are. Yeah. I'll get back to y'all after that. All right, guys, here's the, here are the bolts that we're going to use to actually lift this engine out. So we're going to go ahead and lower the hoist just a little bit just so we can get the chains to touch. And then we're going to make sure that these wires are out the way. And then time to unbolt the transmission. We're still trying to... Well, actually, no, we're not. We're um, I'm tripping. We're actually going to uh, unbolt the torque converter and everything and leave the torque converter and the transmission and everything. Before, we thought we couldn't do it because we couldn't turn this engine, but we can. We found a way. So... Now Kevin is just gonna lower that just a wee bit. Alright, that should be good right there. Could you hold this for me? But if you got an extra bolt to put between two of these links, like down here somewhere, that yeah. wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't think I might I might stabilization. Yeah. And as you can see, we did this before. We were putting bolts in the front and uh, and the back on the opposite corner. And that's how we gonna lift it. The scary thing is, is that I gotta figure out a way to get over there without putting my body weight up in there because we might sling it that way. And that's not a good look for the YouTubes. Put your body weight sling it that way. Yeah, because there's nothing uh, supporting over here. So if I put all my weight on there, then the truck might fall that way. I think what I'm gonna do is put I think you're going to need um, that one in the front, one in the back thing you were talking about. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna take just so that I can put my weight over there. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I understand. Because the wheel is over there and the on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put one in the front over there and then one in the back over there, just to. Okay. It should be about this ballpark. I'm trying to make sure that that it, when it lifts it up. It's right on uh mm -hmm. oh, that's smart. right in the middle, not like off to the side because it mm -hmm. might swing in. Hmm. Alright, let me show them the setup. Alright guys, so now we have a bolt going through here just to make sure that this stays at the exact place where I want it to, because when we lift it up, notice there's not a lot of slack on this one, but a whole lot on this one. I'm thinking that when this thing falls to the center, it'll be the perfect amount be for you. both sides. I... Yep. So that should be perfect once it's all lifted up and the motor actually starts to come out. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and uh, drop the slack just a little bit. And then we'll start working on the transmission bolts. And then this motor will be coming out in this video, for sure. How much? Do hey, mama. How much do uh, just. That's good. No, we didn't. All right. So transmission bolts now, or um, torque converter bolts now. All right, guys. So now we got the torque converter bolts off. It was only three of them. Let me go get them before I forget. It's only three of them. I'll probably end up replacing them, but I'm still gonna. Collect them anyway. Here they go. Only one of them had a lock washer on it. I don't know what that's all about, but hey. And so now we're going to go ahead and start unbolting the transmission. I think 
This is about the, well, hmm. Yeah, I think we should unbolt the transmission now before we do the motor mounts. We're not gonna be able to use the torque for that, um, impact for that. I don't think so. It's gonna have to be pure muscle. Yeah, but we got that, so. Okay. Yep, I'll get back to y'all in a second because uh, I don't wanna do a million things at once. And I don't want this video to be five hours long either, so here we go. All right, guys, so all the transmission bolts are out. We're definitely gonna have to replace them with new ones because we kind of had to rough some of them up to get them off, but that's all good. I kind of wanted to replace those anyway, just, you know, just because while I can. So now we're actually going to be go ahead, going ahead and taking the motor mounts off. We already got a little gap from the transmission already. Now we're going to go motor mounts and we already got uh, two bolts sitting in there just to make sure nothing, you know, drops. So we're good to go there. And now we're going to go ahead and start taking now we're gonna go ahead and start taking no, the motor mounts off. This is, I think this is in the way of us getting to the bolt for the motor mount. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, fuel pump. All right, well, fuel pump is coming off next then. All right guys, now we have the fuel pump out of the way so we can get to the motor mount bolts. And this motor is about to be coming out. I still got the transmission bolted in. It's just a uh, hand loose at the back. Just to make sure nothing, you know, catastrophically flops out or something so motor is about to come out I just want to give you guys a quick update I know this video is kind of spread out all over the place it's probably not going to be one of my organized videos but I'm really just trying to get it done at this point because I'm tired and I'm kind of sick and I want to go nap as soon as this motor is out and on the floor but I just want to give you guys a quick update so we are making progress. I promise you, you will see when the engine actually comes out for, you know, the record. But right now, we're just trying to get to that stage. All right, y'all, it's the moment of truth. It's time to start lifting and praying. I'm gonna go and uh, get those bolts out the back because they're hand loose while uh, Kevin Dean is cranking the hoist. So let's get it done. Someone who hasn't done this before and only watched it on TV. I think we're doing a pretty good job. I think we're doing a bang up job. <clears throat> it's not even uh, holding it. Oh, it's the dowel pins. Where are they? I know they're uh, off to the side on both sides. That's what's holding back? Yeah. So, what will it take to clear them? A slide forward of the whole thing? I think so. That's what it seems like. Alright guys, we finally got some movement. We finally got it to separate from the dowel pins on the transmission. Our little holder is still in place. It's all looking good. I think it's time to actually bring it out. Hold it right there. Wait a minute. Woo! Okay. Uh, no engine, no foul. We out. Maybe and it's cooling everywhere. Alright, let's keep going since we're going. Oh, we left the roadkill mark. What's that mean? Every time they do an engine swap, they leave cooling all over the ground. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. Whole motor missing. Oh, we can get the tire ready now. Alright. Alright guys, motor is finally coming out. Let's just do this. Let's put a uh, yeah. pan down and then put the tire over the pan. Uh huh. And then we're going to set the motor down on the, uh, right about here. Right here for now? Yeah. Oh, out with the old. In with the new. God, this is great. And the transmission landed exactly where we wanted it to. I'm feeling good about this. I think we're just going to go ahead and get back to you guys when we actually set the motor down on the tire. So, yeah, see you guys in two seconds. Let's get clear of the truck. And, uh, more, of course, more. Right? Yeah. They said not to leave tension on it overnight. Oh, okay. Fine. And we're good. All right, guys. We got the motor out. It's such a nice thing to see. 
That torque converter looks cool because it's blue. And this looks great. This is my first time pulling an engine out with the help of Kevin Dean down there. Yeah, we kind of road killed the, uh, the inside of the garage, but you know, it happens. But this is very exciting to see all this space in here. But guys, I am so tired. I was, uh, I was actually feeling kind of tired and I'm still kind of sick before, but I really didn't want to go to sleep without this being done. So, but we got it done. Motor is sitting over there. So I'm happy. And we got the uh, flex plate nice and open so that when we put the new motor in, we can put the old flex plate on it. So I'm happy. I'm good. And I doubt that this video will come out on time tonight because I'm so tired. So I just want to say sorry in advance for those of you who are waiting on the video to come out tonight. But I'm just so tired, so nasally. and So I'd really just rather go upstairs and get some sleep. Go to bed super early so that... I can probably wake up at like, you know, eight, nine, and get it done instead of staying up all night. I don't think I have it in me this time around. But I really appreciate you guys watching. It's really nice to see this motor out. This is a, another big milestone for the channel and everything. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like for me. And if this is your first time seeing anything from me, then make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Because I got a lot of things planned for this big old Chevy truck. Just like that, y'all, this one's pretty much over. I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.